Inspired by the passage of scripture that is found in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 33, and it says, But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. I pray that we will grasp hold of the fact that there is pleasure in doing God's will, and along with doing His will comes the confidence of feeling safe and protected in His arms. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please. Please. Oh, I saw myself a ball. I get all the way in it. I saw it. I was made in a month on my business. I'm a softball. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Robin. Welcome back to part two of my 2021 skin and hair routine. Now, in part one, I did my skin. I showed you guys how I moisturize and just my simple skin routine and I threw in a bonus by just throwing on some makeup for you guys. In today's video part 2 we're going to be focused on my hair. Now I did tell you in this video right here that on March 19th 2020 I did my second big chop. My hair is pretty short. It's almost a year and it has grown quite a bit but it's still pretty far off from my desired hair length. However. I still managed to fake a high puff on my super short hair and also to fake late edges on my extremely thin edges. So if you guys are interested to see how I accomplished that, keep watching today's video. But before we jump right into it, I'm just going to invite you to go on down below, hit that subscribe button, and when you do, go one step further and hit me up in the comment section and just type these words, I subscribed. When you type I subscribed, I'm going to repost saying thank you for subscribing and I'm also going to feature you in my Instagram stories for the week. So yeah, subscribe and let me know that you did by just typing the words I subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Now let's jump right into today's video because I'm super excited to show you guys how I accomplished this look on my super short hair and then let me know if you're going to try it on your short hair because if it worked for me, it's going to work for you. So let's jump right into it. What? What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? Anyways, for the tools that I'm going to be using for my hair is um, I do have my Jamaica Black Castor Oil, the original mango and lime brand. And I'm just going to put a couple of drops on my fingertips like so. And I'm just going to use this just to unravel the flat twist. Today's look is inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Casey. I've basically been stalking Casey's page because we both did our big chops. Well, I did a big chop and she shaved her head. She shaved her head in February of last year. I did a second big chop in March. So technically around the same time. And I've been stalking her page, just kind of like monitoring her growth and kind of measuring it to mine just to see if I'm doing the right things and if I'm retaining length the way I should. So she has become one of the standards basically that I measure my hair growth by it's sad <laughs> but yeah she she did this style on her short hair her twa and i thought let me try this and so here i am i'm just using this pick comb just to fluff my roots because this hairstyle really calls for a lot of stretching now she did use um heat to stretch her hair but i refuse to stretch mine i, I refuse to use heat on my hair because coming out of heat and color damage i want to be as careful i want to do all the right things with my hair so let's see how it turns out because i'm not using any heat to stretch my hair but i do have my spray bottle and i'm just spraying the roots of my hair once again and then i'm just gonna once i do that i'm gonna go in with my main choice biotin infused gel i don't have any eco styler i ran out of eco styler so again that may pose a bit of a problem for me but we'll see how it turns out keep keep watching guys and so i use the main choice gel just to prep the ends not the ends i keep saying the ends but the roots of my hair and that's what i'm going to be doing and i'm just going to go in with my, my denman brush brush it up a bit and then after i do that i'm going to go in again 
with this other brush now this one has a really soft a softer brittle is not as soft as it's not as hard sorry as the Denman is so I'm just using that to brush my hair up brush the roots of my hair up a bit and then after that you'll just see me again this is what I, this is my way of trying to stretch my hair without without using heat because this is a high puff but my hair is TWA so we have to do as much of manipulation and maneuvering as we can to fake this high puff look so this is what I'm doing by constantly brushing and pushing up brushing and pushing up this is my way to stretch my hair and so the next step is I do have this black hair tie and I'm just gonna use this I'm gonna couple it with a rubber band have a rubber band and this is the really neat part that I saw Casey did that I thought oh my gosh I have to try this so I just take the rubber band and I wrap it around the back of the hair tie and then once it's this part you have to be really careful with to, though because don't don't go too too tight with the rubber band because you could risk ripping your hair out and the nape of your head so once that's nice and secure not too tight i use i just push as high as i can push 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 there we go and there we go once that's nice and secure in my hair it's not tight i'm not feeling any type of pressure or anything on my hair I go in again with my afro pick and I just fluff and fluff as much as I can now I know this is probably cute and I could leave the house like this and I'd be all good once I get my edges right but that's not what we're doing today we're attempting to have definition now I do need to let you guys know that I've never really had definition on my high puff I would normally just do it like this fluff it and go but what I saw Casey did and I really loved it and I thought I'm going to try it. I'm going to accomplish definition on my high porosity TWA here. But before we show you guys how I accomplished that, let's get these edges right. Because we're also faking like we have some edges. Now remember, I've said to you guys, I don't have edges. My edges are really thin. But Casey was like, well, we can have we can have edges. So let us let me show you guys how I go in and I do my little trick. This is not necessarily an edge brush, but it's close to it. But look at what I'm doing. And I'm pretty sure if I had Eco Styler, this would have been a lot better. But I'm making it work with my biotin infused gel. And I'm just coming in and I'm swooping with this little makeshift edge brush. And what do you know, guys? I am amazed. Look at this i am faking some edges what are you talking about who knew oh my god this is incredible and so once i do this and i take a little minute to examine it and i'm really happy with the results the next step is going to be for me to just go in and secure this and what i use to secure it is this um y'all I promise you, my edges have never looked like this before. So I'm not gonna lose this. And in order not to lose it, I'm taking this scarf and I'm gonna make sure I go around and I securely fasten it around my head. Make sure it's secure, but not too tight too, because this, the hairstyle is gonna be revealed the next day and I have to sleep with this. So I don't wanna get any headaches. I don't wanna be uncomfortable while I sleep. So I make sure it's tight. As you can see here, it's secure, but not tight. Once that's done, then we're going to move on to the next step. And this is where it gets interesting because again, I'm about to defy the odds. I've already defied the odds by having edges. So now I'm going to have definition and I'm fluffing the roots one more time. And what I'm going to use to get definition is my Shea Moisture Curl Stretching Pudding. So it's supposed to stretch and elongate your curls. So let's see if it works for me. So what I do is I just go around my head quickly and I use a little dab of my Shea Moisture Curl Stretching Pudding and I twist and I do this for my entire head. So the next step is for me to secure this while I sleep. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna cover it with my satin bonnet. Now I really love this bonnet. My daughter has a similar one. It is, it can be worn two ways. 
but one of the neat things it has is a drawstring and the drawstring allows it to be adjustable so that it can be nice and snug and secure on my head and that's all done we're all done i'm gonna go to bed now and the next day i'm just gonna do a quick reveal for you and i'm gonna be like don't be ugly please don't be ugly so let's go that's all pray for me guys cross everything and pray for me tomorrow we will see how it goes hey guys so here we are it's the next day it's saturday i'm all ready for church and i've been wearing prints it's in honor of black history month it's february and so this is my really cute print. This is my Ghana print. I really love it. But that's not why we're here. We're here to see if this trick that I did in accomplishing this fake high puff with edges the day before, we're gonna see if it works. So we're about to defy the, od the odds, or are we? Let's see. Guys, before we do this, let's say a quick prayer. Please don't be ugly. <gasps> here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. What do you think? As you can see, the scarf stayed on. I'm doing a quick prayer once more. And then I'm just gonna go in quickly with my Jamaican black castor oil again so that I can unravel my twist. Um, but before we do that, let's take the scarf off. Are you ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> the edges stayed in place like guys i still have edges oh my gosh you have no idea how much Ugh, you have no idea you have no idea the struggle is real so now we go in with my jamaican black castor oil and we're going to unravel these twists and let's see we still have edges let's see if we can get some definition up in there now and so we unravel the twist and guys I'm amazed. Look at this. Look at the bounciness. Never had this done before. Never seen anything like this. I guess it's safe to say that me deciding to do this second big chop, it was one of the best things that I've ever done. This time around, I am taking my time. I'm doing all the healthy habits and all the healthy things and tips that i need to do in order to retain moisture and this is this is actually going to be a nice segue into my next video because in my next video i'm going to be talking about how people with my type of hair low in density not too much edges high porosity but we can still have length and we can still have healthy hair this is what's going to be my next video but let's focus on this today and let's talk about this definition let's talk about this high puff let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this let me know if you have some of the same struggles that i do and if you're gonna try this because if i can do this guys you can you can definitely do this you can definitely accomplish all the things that i've accomplished today even if you have a low low or high porosity here thin here thin edges look at this guys let's get into this so let me know in the comment section what you think of this hairstyle i hope you like this video i hope you share this video and as always go on and live your blessed life guys thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next video hi y'all